Hello guys, welcome back to another GTA episode. So in this video, we will be learning how we can create a beautiful main menu like GTA San Andreas and a loading with multiple images. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So I have opened up my scene right now and as you remember we have created mini map in our last video. So in this video we are going to make some splash screen with multiple images and the one image will be loaded after and other image like GTA and rest. So yeah let's start and let's see how we can do that. So to do that you have to uh, click uh, right click over here and then create a new scene something like this and call it loading scene. Alright, so after doing that you have to double click over here and then what you need to do you have to right click over here and then create a UI and a canvas. Alright, so in canvas you have to make two type of images, sorry two images. To do that you have to right click in canvas then click UI and then click uh, image and call it first splash. Alright, so and make it uh, full size something like this. Alright, and then duplicate this splash screen by uh, holding Ctrl and then press D and rename it by pressing F2 and then uh, write second image or splash. Alright, so it really doesn't matter what you write the name of these two images, but to remember we have uh, we are creating the splash screen. So I write the first splash and second splash because in because we will assign some images to these in the images. So. I already have created some kind of images which I will attach and I uh, personally have created that images in Unity by adding some post processing and then taking screenshot and then editing in Canva. If you don't know what is Canva, Canva is a free website where you can edit all kind of images and make some awesome logos and graphics. So let me show you what kind of images I have created. Uh, here I have stored them in flash screen folder. And for the first splash screen, you have to assign your first image something like this. Make sure you have created them sprite 2D and UI. Alright, and then uh, click on second image and drag and drop your second image in your second splash. And to adjust your second image or first image, you can stretch it something like this. And yeah, it's looking awesome. If you know in sand rest, the splash screen, uh, the splash screen appears something like this. Uh, let me show you something like this. So we also have to control these transparencies using Unity animation and scripts. So how can we do that? Let's see. So to do that, you have to create a new script, then come into script folder, and then right click over here and create a loading script I already have created so I will delete this script from here and create a new one for you guys alright guys so create a new script you have to right click over here and then click on create and then click on C sharp script and write its name to loading something like this and then open it up inside of visual studio alright so here what you need to do you have to write using unity engine dot scene management because we will uh, load the new scene after the splash screen time will be end and to use the to load new scene we have to use this hand file using unity engine dot scene management all right so here we have to make two variables the first one is public Public means you can access the variable uh, in Unity and private means you can only access the variable while editing your script. Then click on float, oh, sorry, write float. Float means you can uh, store the values in points and uh, integer means you can store the values in 1, 2, 3 and you cannot use uh, and decimal values. Alright, so public float and right here total time. I already have created so that is why uh, the Visual Studio code is giving me some options. So uh, I will write Visual Studio uh, total times instead of time and then and again I will create a new variable public load splash load time. Alright so I, I know you will be confused uh, about these two variables. Let me tell you what the what will be the use of these variables. 
the total time we will use the total time when we have to load a new scene i mean when the total time will be ended the new scene will be loaded and the when the splash screen time slash load time will end the new splash uh, new splash screen will be loaded so here what we need to do you have to uh, make a current time like uh, you have to write start current time and the here you have to write the name of function which we will create here to uh, control the timing of our uh, splash screen right wait now we can sorry and here we can make a new function but here uh, we will not use public void we will use i enumerator and here we will write the name of this function which we are going to create and inside this function we will uh, use all the stuff to control our splash screens all right so how can we do that so here what you need to do you have to write yelp return new and then wait for seconds wait for seconds because we are going to wait for some seconds to load a new splash screen and then again we will wait for some seconds to load a new scene so first of all we will uh, load the new splash screen then we will go to load a new scene all right so here you can write the uh, seconds in one two three so here i will write slash load time so we can control this time in unity editor all right so come back to the unity and unity will compile this script all right so before doing anything with script click on second splash then press ctrl 6 you will come into animation window and then click on create all right so here you can create a new animation new assets and new animations i already have created loading animation but for you guys i will again create this animation uh, loading splash all right so here make sure you press this button otherwise your animation will be not record so press this button click on this material color and then make sure you have make it transparency to zero and you can see there are two dots here it means it have record the animation then click in something middle and make the fade to something like here and then click at the end of animation and then click over here and if i will play this animation right now and you can see the splash is loading very awesomely the splash is loading in a very amazing way so we can uh, increase the time of splash loading by something like this and now you will see it will load something slow nice so what we can do we will click on second splash and now to control this uh, second splash you have to open the unity editor uh, sorry animation here and here you have to double click and create a new empty state and call it first state and then right click over here and set it to default all right and then make a transition something like this here we can uh, make some condition when we want to load this animation so you can create a new boolean boolean means true or false when the condition will throw the animation will be loaded when the condition will false the animation will not load so you have to write the name of this boolean all right we can write the boolean name to time done all right then copy this name by double click and then come back to unity here you have to make a new variable public animator and call it anim and here we want to show our splash screen first then we will what we will do we will uh, use that boolean to throw the condition when the condition will throw the second splash screen will be low all right so to do that you have to anim dot set boolean set boolean and write the name of your boolean in double quotation mark and add comma and write true all right so 
come back to the Unity and let's see whether it is working or not. So in Canvas you have, make sure you have attached your script. Here it is loading. Let me search my script. Loading script in Canvas. Drag and drop your script right here and then attach your second splash over here. In total time you have to write 10 seconds. And in splash screen loading time you can write any time when you want to load the second splash screen. So I will write 5 or 3 seconds. 3 seconds are enough right and for total time I'll write mm, 7 seconds total time means the when the 7 seconds will be uh, when the 7 seconds will complete the next scene will be loaded and when 3 seconds will be complete the next flash screen will be loaded all right so let's test this okay so Oh wow, that's crazy and awesome. But uh, what the uh, what is the problem? Why it is loading again and again? So to fix that, what you need to do, you have to come back from the play move and then click on second splash and double click on your animator and double click on your animation and then uncheck this uh, loop time. All right, then save then replay your game all right so it's awesome but we should increase some time of animation because it is too low uh, I'm going to write here 5 and for the next reload time I will write 10 so it's it will be fair time I think so let's see how it will looks like so awesome that's super awesome yeah it was not following the time because I write the 5 seconds and it loads before 5 seconds so what is the problem I guys because I make transition I create a boolean but I did not assign this boolean to this animation transition so to do that you have to uncheck this has exit time to false and then click on this plus button and it will automatically cause this uh, condition if it uh, do not cause the condition you have to click over here and then click on true alright so let's see whether it is working or not so I think it will work right now because it will take 5 seconds yeah it takes 5 seconds to load so it means our script is working and our condition is working alright so here how can we load the new scene to load the new scene you have to again copy this line of code and paste it over here and then in splash load time you have to write total total time all right so here you have to write scene manager dot load scene you can write the scene index which you want to load it's all up to your uh, unity project setting but in my case in my case i will want to load i think the first scene because the index starts from zero okay so <clears throat> you can check your index from here so in my case i want to load the playground so i'll write the one here you can write one or according to your project setting it will work in fair way click on play button so let's see whether it's working or not so it is working the first and the second splash scene is loaded and now we have to wait for the loading of the new scene i hope it will work fine so yeah our scene has been loaded and is working in very nice way so so there is still something missing which should be added in our splash screen to make it more awesome. So what is that? There should be a, a loading icon, a loading animation icon uh, in the top right or top left or the bottom right corner. I think bottom right is the best one. There should be the and there should be a sound effect in the, in the background. There should be some loop sound in the background like GTA. So let's add that. To add some animations, I will give you a link in the description box below. Just go ahead and download the package. You will find a lot of animations uh, which are free to use and they are awesome. So I have imported that package and there are a bunch of animations you can see the folders right here and I have this is my favorite package. And I think this one is very awesome. Here, 
drag and drop your loading animation and set its position where you want to show it I want to show it in bottom right here and here I think it will look no 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 pick up no I will add some circle quarter or basing animation something like this yeah this one is cool here drag and drop it over here and right click over here create a text mesh pro if you don't know that what is text mesh pro text mesh pro is very awesome tool of unity in which you can make very awesome text without decreasing your frame rate of your game so import your text mesh pro right here so our text mesh pro has been imported so you have to you again have to click or import text mesh pro examples because it will uh, import some cool fonts which i really like all right our text mesh pro has been imported and what you need to do you have to write uh, create a new text which we already have created and write loading something like this and here you can change the font according to your taste and I think this one is looking better and we can change its position from here and something like here alright so make it a little bit big add some dots in the front of loading it will give a full cool effect alright so so let's see how it looks like in our game and then let's come to the music topic so now what we need to do we have to some we have to add some kind of music in our game so to do that we have to import a music track uh, it's all up to you what kind of track you want to import but i have uh, a track which is created by my brother hamad Ahmed. and where it is i have imported yeah here it is all right so you have just need to make a new game object by right clicking over here and then click on create empty and then click on music and then drag and drop this music over here it will automatically create a new game object or add component of audio source and we want to use this as a loop because we don't want to stop the sound while the splash screen is loading so make sure you have click on loop alright so let's see how our game is looking like let me increase some resolution from here and let's see so that's awesome let me make this size Alright, so one thing we have forget what we need to do, you have to right click, uh, sorry, click on canvas, then here you have to set the scale with screen size. And you can write the size over here, what is your uh, screen size. Uh, in my case, I have selected this screen size, so I will write 1280 by 720. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so it's awesome and right? it's looking very cool. And you can see our game is looking very fantastic and if you are if you are interested if you are interested to get this kind of video just go ahead and subscribe this channel right now and that's pretty much it. that is enough for this video because video is becoming too long so I have created two parts of this video in the next video we will learn how we can create a main menu like GTA.